Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Wizardry Workshop. In this video, we're going to be celebrating Matt Smith taking on the role of the 11th Doctor in uh, the Doctor Who TV series. And this was April 10th on BBC America. I'm not sure about the rest of the world <laughs> whenever that premiered. It may have been a different date, but for BBC America, it was April 10th. So that's what we're gonna do today. I love Doctor Who, so I'm really happy to celebrate it. Matt Smith is maybe my favorite Doctor. I really like David Tennant but I really like Matt Smith too. It's between those two, it's hard to say. And not only are we celebrating Matt Smith as the 11th Doctor in Doctor Who today, we're also celebrating bow ties because of course bow ties are cool. So for this video, I thought about doing like uh, uh, fish fingers and custard and like doing like a taste test thing. And then I thought, no, I'm not doing that. So today we're going to be uh, doing a bunch of printables, Doctor Who printables from episodes when Matt Smith was the doctor. I picked some things that I thought were pretty cool or iconic or, you know, just stuff that I liked. If you do like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to save the universe from the Cybermen. So most of these are going to be printable projects where you can just print them out and, and cut them out and you have something cool. Um, this one, actually, I printed on my plotter. I recently got a plotter and I wanted to do a, a larger print. So this one is actually 24 inches across, but there is an 11 by 17 version of it right here. So you can, you can see the, the size difference there. This one is a painting called uh, the, the Pandorica Opens, and it's from an episode that is named that same thing, the Pandorica Open. So if you want to see this in the episode, you can check that one out. This was a Van Gogh painting in the episode. So I wanted to make it look like it was actually painted on canvas. So there is a canvas texture in the background here. And instead of cutting it, we're actually going to tear it so it gets kind of a, a frayed edge. So it'll look almost like it is cloth. We're just going to find where we want to do our uh, cut and then I'm going to fold the paper at that point. And now we can flip it and fold it on the other side as well. And if you try to tear it right now after doing your folds, it might actually tear into the artwork. So what you wanna do is actually just get it a tiny, tiny bit damp just right where that fold is on the side where there is no ink. So on this side, you're going to dampen it with like a very damp cloth or a very damp sponge. Or you can also use your tongue <laughs> if you want to. Um, so I've, I went ahead and dampened it with my tongue and I'm going to just tear it off. And as you can see, it's tearing really easily. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's supposed to look like just torn cloth. So right there is the result that we get when we tear it and you can see the um, canvas texture there and you can also see where it's actually torn. It does look frayed almost like cloth. So go ahead and do that to all the other edges of the print. And there we go. That's what it looks like after we've torn all the edges. You probably want to take this and put it in a frame to keep it nice. Uh, the back is white anyway, so no one's ever going to turn want to see the other side of it. So yeah, it would be nice to put this in a frame. Next up, we have this Dalek to Victory poster. I thought this was really cool as well. This one was in an episode called Victory of the Daleks. So on this one, I printed it on uh, brochure paper, 11 by 17 brochure paper. It's basically poster paper. Like it's got a little shine to it. It's really nice. So I am going to just trim off the white space. And there we have our Two Victory Daleks poster. Next up, we have this blueprint for the 11th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. Um, so I thought this was really cool. The main artwork here came actually from a remote control that was designed, uh, like a TV remote that looked like the 11th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. But I thought this was like a really cool artwork. So I turned it in to this vintage looking blueprint. For this one, I did print it on regular paper just because like a blueprint would probably be on regular paper, especially if it's vintage. And um, yeah, all you want to do here again is trim off the white space. 
And there we have the blueprint all cut out. Should look like this. Next up, we have the John Smith ID. And this was actually uh, flashed by the doctor, the 11th doctor, in the episode Vampires of Venice. And it has the very first doctor's photograph on it right here. So I just took that recreated it and now we're gonna cut this out so the bleed on this one which is the area of ink that's printed outside the margin of where you want to cut is on the front of the id so you want to flip it over we've printed this double-sided on cardstock and then we're going to trim it off with the back face up and now i've trimmed it all the way to this last line here but for this one we're actually going to tear it because if you look at it in the episode it's actually old and kind of torn at the top. So we want to sort of recreate that. So I'm just gonna take it and tear it right there at the top. And we're just gonna, yep, just tear it off. You might also wanna just kind of bend the corners a little bit so that they're not so perfectly squared off. Just sort of make them look a little bit more worn um, but yeah, there you go. That is what the ID should look like. Next up, we have this TARDIS operator's license and with Matt Smith's image on it, of course. So uh, this is double-sided on cardstock as well. And I also have my laminator here heating up because we want to laminate this. So this one was an original design. It never appeared anywhere. I just wanted to create a cool TARDIS license, so there it is. I also wanted to have something with Matt Smith's photo on it because I realized nothing here had Matt Smith's photo on it. So again, we are going to flip it over and cut it out with the back facing up. The next thing we wanna do once it's cut out is laminate this thing. So I'm just gonna place it in there. It doesn't matter really where, you just wanna have enough room around it so that you can cut this out. All right. That's all laminated. Now we can turn the laminator off. We don't need that. Now we are going to cut this out again, but we want to leave some of that lamination around the, the edges, like as a border kind of. And one thing you can do is if you have an old gift card, you can take it and put it underneath. And that's the size that you want right there. So we want to put it underneath and then we'll just go ahead and cut it out and use that card as a guide to like where we're cutting. And then there is just one more step with this. We want to round the corner. And I have this cool little corner rounder where you can have different settings. So I'm going to set mine on this one. And then we are going to round these corners out. So when you're all done, the uh, TARDIS driver's license basically should look like this. Next up, we have this awesome looking print here and this one I am going to foil it. I also have a version that doesn't need foil if you just want to print it and you can't do the foiling you can use this one and this is simply just a print that you can frame. These are actually the designs for the front of a book called The History of the Time War and this was in an episode called Journey to the Center of the TARDIS so if you want to see that Go ahead and check that episode out. It's pretty cool. Before you actually foil this, you want to trim off this bottom part right here where it has the disclaimer, and you wanna trim that same amount from around all the edges of the print. Alternatively, if you don't really want to trim that off, another way you could do it is get some like poster board of some kind, thick, nice paper, and then you can cut a frame out in that paper that covers this up and hides it, and then you can put that in the frame with it so that it's kind of like has this border around it. But I am just going to go ahead and trim this off. And you don't have to print this print on white paper like I did here. You can print it on other colors such as this black print and it'll work just as well. You can foil that as well. I am actually using a rose gold foil because I just think the tint of this looks a lot cooler than just plain gold foil. I am not really going to go over all the details on gold foiling in this. I'm assuming you're familiar with this process. 
Now let's take a look and see how it turned out. That looks really cool. And as you can see, they both look pretty good after being framed. Of course, my favorite is the foiled one. And there you have it, guys. There are all the different printables I prepared for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I really like this gold foiled one, by the way. Um, I think my favorite ones are the Blueprint, and I really like the TARDIS ID. Those are probably my two favorites. I really hope you guys liked this one. It was so fun to do. I love Doctor Who, like I said. I actually was a Matt Smith's version of Doctor, to, Doctor Who for Halloween one year. So yeah, this was just awesome. I like kind of straying away from Harry Potter every once in a while and doing something else because I love so many other franchises. I want to do things for other franchises as well as Harry Potter. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have ever tried uh, Fish Fingers and Custard and if so, why would you do that to yourself? Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.